We are going to talk about locker hooking. Locker hooking is a process to make a rug using a rug canvas as well as whatever other fabric mediums you have or yarn, um, ribbon, that sort of thing. This particular rug is made with batiks, which I like because they have no front or back. So it was easy to not to just do it. Um, what you need to do to prep is you need to get your fabric strips and you can take a f your fabric scraps, rip them into about one to one and a half inch strips depending on the size of your canvas, whatever you think is going to work. It's a good thing to experiment. These are one inch strips. You'll have to de-string them because they get very stringy. You can also cut them, but I prefer the tear. And then you prepare your canvas piece. So you get your canvas piece like this and then trim your edges. This is a small piece for the sake of what we're doing here. Um, you can draw an image on as I drew the image on this rug and with a felt with a sharpie or something like that you can use colors if you're going to do an intricate pattern that way you can follow your colors and you can change colors within the fabric. So with that I guess we can start the process. Move the rug out of the way. The first thing that I do when I start a rug is I do an edge. So with your, once you've got your piece set, you're going to fold your edges over, probably about a half inch in. This is, there's several methods, this is the one I like the best. And once I've folded my edges, I'll get my first piece of edge fabric and my wonderful little tool called a locker hook needle. It has a eye hook at the end as well as a crochet type hook on the front. And with this, I'm going to put my fabric through my hole. Just like that. Start on one corner and pull it through until I get to a little bit of a tail, probably about a two inch tail, and leave it dangle, wrap it around from the, go around the back, pull it through again, and if it bunches up, just undo it, and that's why we don't like the strings. And then just keep going. It's a very fast process. And we'll just keep going until we get to the end and then I can show you what to do on the end. Okay, and as we come up to the end, it's going to get really tight on the corner. And that's okay, because this is just making the edge. And in the final hole, we're going to do it, and then we're going to come back as we go around the corner into the same hole to make the full corner. And one thing I'm doing as well as when I go through here is I'm trying to keep my fabric flat in this case, because it is a batik, so I'm, I'm okay with that, because it's, it's just a... It's a two-sided thing, keeping it flat so I get a full coverage as I go around. If I were working with a fabric that was one-sided, my concern would be keeping it more folded so only the color part would show. So this is how, or one way, to make an edge on your piece. Okay, so once we've got the edge on, we're going to begin the process of filling in the canvas. This is the part where you take your string, which is your locker hooking medium. This could be any kind of yarn, string. In this case, I'm using cotton yarn. I like cotton simply because if I use cotton all the way through, this is actually washable, and you can throw it in the wash if it gets dirty, which is good if you've made a rug. We're going to tie it onto our canvas with a little knot. And 
it doesn't matter if you have loose ends because they're all going to get woven in later. Can't seem to tie it. And now we're going to use our string or locker hooking median and put it through and attach it and it's going to be on the top. We want it to be on the top because we take then our fabric strip that we have and we hold it in the bottom, go through our first hole and pull the loop up, keeping the loop on the tool. We go back down through the next hole, grab it again, keeping our tail out of the way, grabbing it again on the bottom, pulling it back up through, leaving another loop, and continuing this process, looping it on the back, pulling it up through, you can do about five or six in a row to start with. There's four. If you keep your fabric flat as you go around, it makes a better loop. And once you've got a few, then you pull your string through your medium. And then it has now held your pieces in place. They're not going anywhere, hence locker hooking. They are now locked. And you can keep going. And there's several methods or design elements to this that you can do. You can do a straight across method in which you would keep going back and forth and do rows across. In this case we're going to go up and do a spiral which will give it a different pattern. There's also freehand that you, if you want to do a, a picture and you want it to look like something else, and just because it's always about when you go through and pull your piece through that you lock it in place with the yarn.